Are you struggling with slow sales in your reselling business? Well, in this video, we're gonna be going over my coaching call that I do on a weekly basis for five hours a week, coaching up other eBay resellers on the same systems and processes that have helped me achieve over $178,000 in sales just last year on eBay. We go over things like title structure, creating buyer coupons, and comping items to make sure that they are priced correctly. So right now, I'm offering a seven-day free trial of my eBay coaching and it's just one dollar a day after that and I work with you weekly five hours a week helping you put systems and processes in place that's gonna help and work for you to reach your eBay goals so you can find it in the link in the description down below and I offer an eBay reseller spreadsheet that can help you track some of your expenses and as well as an eBay store review to help go over your titles and your photos and your pricing to help you get that right foot forward and get you onto the right track like I said, you could find it down linked in the description below and enjoy. That's but I got good. a lot of pictures and I have a couple questions. I don't know if Jared wants to go first, but uh, no, go ahead. I got like corduroys that I was going <clears> to <throat> list. I haven't listed corduroys before. Uh huh. And then I had um, those funky jeans and yeah. a couple other things. So, okay. Uh, I just uh, switched over the sharing thing. I, I forget it always starts off with sharing disabled. So, yeah, you okay. can uh, whenever you want and um, they're black corduroys and they're Levi's, and I haven't nice uh, listed them before. Mm -hmm. so we'll go from there real quick. Um, let me move you out of the way. Oh yeah, I'll just minimize. Okay. It. <clears throat> All right. Um, so I was gonna start from stretch. So I only I got some underwear that I listed. A hey. dollar pack. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Free shipping on there because that's how a lot of them were listed. Good, good. Um, and then the jeans and then this stupid little beanie that um, I put a crazy price on. I had them up for there. I learned a lot about Beanie Babies. We won't even oh, get okay. into it here, but yeah, um, the ones that sell for so much. Do you know about all that? Like um, the ones, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they have okay. to have some very special characteristics because I I know that yeah. people think uh like the general thing is like oh they're worth millions it's like no yeah. they're even even vintage beanie babies you know the the highly replic you know the highly produced ones those aren't like rare they're just vintage but like the ones right. that have special editions those can be good yeah, even so, none of them sell for like twenty thousand. It's all money, <laughs> money yeah. laundering and whatever. Yes, yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. Was that from a uh, house buyout or? Uh, which one? The, the beanie baby. Yeah, I I pick them up. Mm -hmm. Um, no, it wasn't from that house buyout, but I got them for nothing a long time mm -hmm. ago. Nice. All right, so let me show you. This is um dollar pair of so i got another spot where i can get like clothes for a dollar mm -hmm. um pretty easy that's great um that so really these are good. dollar levi's corduroy which i wasn't sure about yeah so since they're corduroy um they would be considered they'd be needing to be listed under the pants category okay so and this picture is not great you can't really tell that they're corduroy here, mm -hmm. but whatever, I guess. Um, that's a bad picture. They don't look dirty at all. Should I delete you, that? Um, uh, you don't have to, but that's it's just the way the fabric. Good. If someone yeah. does ask, they just say that's the fabric. Right. Um, but yeah, they're five oh fives. Yeah, I, I sell those new. I've sold those for like fifty bucks. So pre owned, um mm -hmm. thirty, thirty two, you could probably get twenty four to thirty bucks for those. Yeah, I was thinking twenty four. Mm -hmm. And they're vintage Hong Kong. Are they? Mm-hmm. Because they're Hong Kong. But I was wondering about that. So, see, it's funny because we say Levi, they're vintage. But I saw Levi.com and I was thinking, oh, they're probably early 2000s. How do you know yeah. they're vintage? Early 2000s. Hong Kong. Yeah. 
Hong yeah. Kong. Okay. And see how the tag is not quite polyester, but it's still more like a paper tag. Not total paper tag, but it's not like the modern hmm. late 2000s. So um, these could be like between 2005 and 2010. So yeah. And they switched over to the polyester tag after 2010. So hmm. um, you don't have to put vintage, but oh, you could see the date right there. The 2000. Date, yeah. uh, yep. So where the, is it? So the date is 2000. Where am I? Where are we looking? So is my finger on it? No, no. So 3431 401. Yeah, they make them uh, different on... Is it 08? April of 08? Oh, yep. four, oh, eight. yep, 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 yeah, so 2008, yeah, so April 2008. It's always going to be a four-number sequence, um, yeah. so sometimes um, they're in different spots. So the some vintage has to be 20 years old, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and it's even hard for me to say vintage is like 2000, but it is. No. <laughs> yeah. 2003 and, and beyond. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So okay. 408. And um, so let me make sure I'm in the pants category. <laughs> well, let me move this over first. Mm -hmm. Um, Pants. With any Levi's, always take a picture of that back tag. Because also for people who are Levi you know, addicts, people who love right. Levi's, they, they want that back because they want to know the year. Yeah. Um, but yes, it's super helpful. But yeah, they're, okay. it's kind of tricky to find because Le Levi put them everywhere. They, All right. So I'm going to go um, Levi's pants. Yes. Levi pants. pants. Levi's pants. Um, what do we say? They were 30, 32. Yeah, thirty, thirty-two. Okay, and then black corduroy or five oh five. Oh, so Levi's, uh, five oh five. I always put the the model after. Yeah, so Levi's five oh five pants, men's. So so far so good. After thirty, thirty-two, put corduroy. <laughs> How do you spell that? Uh, yeah, C O R D U R. Oh, why? Okay, thank you. Corduroy. Um, corduroy mid rise. Mid rise. Mm hmm. Cotton. Pockets. And they looked like they were straight leg. Sometimes they'll have a uh, boot cut. Do we want to put Paper black line, but it or looked... 2008 or anything like that? Regular fit. Yeah, there you go. So you can you can either swap out straight leg with regular fit since it's more uh, better keyword to describe that those jeans or pants. So regular fit, and you could do black. Because sometimes people will be like, is that dark blue or yeah, there you go. Sweet. Okay. I don't remember what number I'm at, so I'll just fix that. That's okay, fine. so the okay, good. Levi's Chino. Chino? What does yep. that mean? Chino is uh basically any pants that are you know like like Dickie's pants, those would be considered chinos. Um, hmm. any kind of dress type of pants would be considered chinos. Uh, okay, yeah. great. Yeah, chinos. Okay, see, yeah, yeah, all the other ones. So, I'm yeah. glad I asked you for sure. And what we say, 34, 32? Was it? Oh, they were 30, 32s. 30. Okay, 30 and 32. Okay. Black men's <laughs> and fit would just be regular. All right. 
um, fabric type. Yeah, so the four it was up top corduroy. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Cool. All right, I think I'd probably do Material that would be cotton. Material cotton, waist size 30. Um, oh, sorry, I missed that. That's fine. Cotton. Levi is on my favorite uh, tip brand to resell. I just, <laughs> I don't know why. I think because there were so many in this storage unit that <laughs> were, yeah. so, were awesome, you know, just really cool. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's a flooded category, but they're always in demand, you know, as far as uh, the older ones. Like the ones you have here, you could easily get 24 bucks for them. Yeah, cool. They might just take a couple months to sell. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Every once in a while. Um, what do we say, mid-rise? Mm-hmm. You'll have to explain that to me too. Is there a way to measure that? Where what are, what yeah, is you, that? Yeah, you measure from the top of the inseam all the way to the top hem of the pants, and that will give you uh, okay. mid rise. Most unless they say on the tag or something, otherwise, uh most uh men's pants and jeans would be mid rise. But sometimes okay. you'll get like Kenneth Cole low rise jeans and and you'll have to put low rise um on there. Um so, but I measure it because I was getting a lot of questions. Oh, what's this? Are they high rise? And more for women's jeans, but for men's too. I just take the measurement. Adds an extra photo in there. Okay. All right. Well, that's good then. Good on that one, I think. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Why do you do 60 day returns? Um, because it's better than offering 30 day returns or 14 day returns. Um, and I just want to be offering the best possible um, service for the buyer. And also it shows that I put full faith into describing my item. So um it goes back to like no one returns their items on the last day, you know, on day 59. They usually get the item and then if there's a problem, they return it right away. So my kind of theory is that eBay likes that you offer 60 day returns versus 30 day returns. So they're going to be wanting to possibly favor your listing versus someone that offers maybe 14 day returns. Um, so that's why I do it, and that's why I've always done it, and I've, you know, never. I mean, I've, technically, yeah. eBay only holds you for thirty days. But oh, well, when you say Bo, that nobody's come to you on day fifty nine asking no. for every time. No, I've never. Um, I had one. Probably not even forty nine, right? Day 49. Yeah, I I had a guy's pair of shoes, um, where they split open on him like three weeks after wearing them but that's like what 20 days after he got them <laughs> but yeah i've never had a return where they waited to the last day to open a return or even anything close to that um mm -hmm. usually when people get their item they want their money back so they're gonna be like well how do i get my money back you gotta send that item back to me to get your money back <laughs> um so that's kind of my whole thing i I'm trying to just pr prove to the buyer that, hey, you know, I stand behind this item. I even give you a 60 day return. If there's a problem, send it back to me. If I could offer lifetime returns, I would. Because it's just, you know, they're, they're in the mindset of if there's a problem, they're going to return it anyways, uh, you know, as soon as possible. That's why I don't issue issue refunds until I get the item back in my possession. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I I, I can say you know at least twenty percent of my returns that 
the you know the problem and then they they say yeah you know just send it on back happy to accept the item back within 60 days for a full refund and probably you know two times out of 10 they don't send it back and and that re they just don't return it for some reason so um you'll ha you'll have that happen as you're you get more sales you're gonna have people that there's a lot of people too that want partial refunds and you know try to haggle you this lady was like oh well this this uh this is not the color i thought it was can you give me a couple bucks and i just say no if you don't like it please uh send it back i'll give you a full refund and never heard from her so you know just mm. always stay true to your policy because people will try and take it what are you smaller. looking at bo uh this is still my yeah. screen so i had another question about it so this is a Wrangler Western shirt. Uh-huh. And I want to know what these things are. So it yeah, looks like those are the, point point collar, a point and collar. It looks like the the person yep. who owned it put mm -hmm. them there because I looked this shirt up. And oh. when you look at comps, they they're not there. So I didn't flip them around, but they're like silver and they're yeah. pretty ornate. I didn't think to flip it over, but it's like somebody stuck them on there and it wasn't. No, that's cool. That's cool. It's a, that's just a classic Wrangler Pearl snap. Okay. Uh, can I see the tag? Yes, you may. Let's see. Oh, and then you were talking about this, these yep. lines here. I yep, noticed that's the yoke. Yep. What's it called again? The yoke? A uh, yoke. Yeah. It just helps the shirt fit better. The tag was pretty simple, but when you. Uh, I was surprised with the length here too. That was and good. they're called that X X long tails, is the older <clears throat> Wranglers. Um, so it's a pretty simple tag. Yeah, it's a newer one. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Um, but I thought those silver things might help the value. So you want to help me run through that real quick? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I'll turn my time over. Yep. So. Um, that's a good one. Yeah, I thought so. I was I, like, even, I just typed in this uh I thought it was funny. I typed in this number here, the seven one whatever, and yep, that comes yep. up on eBay as a search. Yeah. People put that in the title. Yeah, they'll put it in the um there's a spot where it says MPN and that's the model oh, okay. number. Yeah. You could do that. Sometimes people are very specific um with their wrangler shirts like they go oh i had this one and i loved it had it for 20 years and, and they, they want that specific model you know um so yeah it was so, easy for me to find it that way but yeah wrangler. i think it's a 20 dollar shirt i guess mm -hmm. no yeah you can easily you oh it's a medium you could get 20 plus on for this but with mm -hmm. that extra um that right. would be called an embellishment. So embellished means a special <laughs> accent about that shirt would be embellished. Okay. So what am I going to say here? So, <laughs> yeah. Wrangler um, shirt, men's medium. You could put pearl snap. Pearl snap, yep. Yeah. Pearl uh, snap. Flap pockets. Flap pockets. And then put... um three three button yep three button that's on the sleeve that, that right? would be for the wrist yes so three button and then um you could put yeah. something to describe that silver on the collar because that's going to probably catch people off guard yeah. so you put silver point collar so, you know, even though no one's probably going to be searching for that, but it's just showing yeah, that you're it acknowledges it. Oh, that's perfect. Case. Okay. Yeah. Um, people right. can be picky. So, so men's shirt clothing, Wrangler, mm -hmm. regular long sleeve black. Uh, you said all of them are woven. Is that right? Most, yeah. Most um, men's shirt woven. Yeah, m most that are like cotton. Um, and if they were knit, it would be like a type of twill cotton um, or tweed sometimes. But you'll see it on the tag when it says twill or tweed. That would be like a knit. So 
um that no one's ever returned a shirt where they go oh the fabric type this is knit and it's not woven there's it's so hard to tell the difference so right okay uh anything you can think of under features or accents no um under closure you want to put snap snap okay oh i get that okay good okay, cool yep and then collar style would be point okay and then collared it was cotton yep. mm -hmm. collar no no vintage okay i think i'm good yeah, and anytime uh, you get some of those Western shirts, a good theme, that's where you would use the theme uh, item specifics and put in Western. <clears throat> or if something's like, if you get a military jacket, yeah. it's a good one to put military or army. Okay. So that's what I use those for, but very rarely. Okay. Nice. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Right on. Was that another dollar find? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yep, dollar fine. You think uh what twenty one ninety five would be fair? Twenty four with the um since like it's not like the hugest size, I would just do about twenty four ninety five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you might get offers yeah. Like Fourteen bucks, fifteen bucks. I mean I think the silver things, I think if I could pull them off too, it might be worth it looking up to see. Yeah, that's true. Them. Yeah. Separately. Um, this and then ship first class five ninety five. Yeah, five ninety five. So so I'm gonna be buying a bulk bales of clothing for let's see fourteen two hundred and thirty bucks for a how many pounds fifteen hundred pounds. Wow. For, for 200 bucks though it's bad yeah should uh, i do that you, you don't know beat. exactly what you're getting though right it's uh discards from the floor and um so stuff that hasn't saint vincy saint vincent's is like every two to three months if it doesn't sell they throw it in the discard pile and then they bail them up and then the lady said it's also um items they get donated that might have a stain or a hole so mm -hmm. that's kind of the risky part, but about yeah, 1,500 pounds course. of clothing, I mean, that's probably going to be about 2,000 pieces Yeah. Um, where I only need, you know, I need maybe 1,000 to 1,500. I need about 1,500 a month. So that's, but you're only spending 200 bucks. Right now, I'm spending about fifteen hundred a month on product. So it'd be better than going to the bins. Yeah, except now I got to do all the sorting, but mm -hmm. I also have a better opportunity to get higher, better quality, quality items, like stuff. more vintage, more rare stuff. Yes, yes. So, so do you have a dumpster on your? Well, farm? there's a um a really cool program called Just Porch It here where they come and pick up any used clothes for free oh within, really within three days so um and they they um hold it's basically like a rag house where they chop up all the clothes into insulation and mechanic rags so you wouldn't have to worry about getting them again no yeah just they would just come pick them up and but i don't know i'll i'll buy a bale and 
go from there. I'm not expecting. This is where I already get my product anyways, m some of it. <clears throat> right. But he's sorting it for me. Um, but he's, Oh, so I, you're getting it from him. You're not getting it from St. Vincent de Paul. Yeah, so I was going to buy my own bail and see if I have the time to sort that out. So, so are you getting that straight from St. Vincent de Paul? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to know how that goes. Yeah. Uh, well, she just sent me an email, so we'll see. I mean, that price is pretty cheap, so it's not, even if I just found like ten items that sold for fifty bucks, I well, get. You know, if it, if it goes really good for you, maybe this summer I'll fly up there, rent a U-Haul, and get three or four bales and bring them back to Arkansas. That would be enough product for you for a, while. a long time. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Uh, in, you know, one thing I also considered was some kind of wholesale, you know, either locally or online or something. But I right now I'm just looking for um, alternative ways to source. So I understand that. But yeah, that's a nice piece. Yeah. So I wanted to show you that we don't have to list it right now or anything. If Jared has something, but uh, it's a two piece. It's uh Kind of strange. It's uh very vintage. It's only got one tag. Yeah. Um. So that's all it says. And and then there's another piece that goes with it. So I was wondering kind of what these were. It's on both sides. It's for a belt. Buttons yeah. or anything. oh for a belt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got it. You'll okay. see them on dresses too. And then this piece, so they're the exact same fabric and everything. That's cool. So like this goes on top of the. Yeah, that's cool. Did you call that other thing a vest? Um, almost but like a tunic. Tunic. A tunic is like an like a, like a shirt that is more loose. Um, but not like a blouse. So they should probably wear a white shirt underneath the vest, and yeah. then put the jacket on top. Yeah, so that would be uh, considered uh, like a tunic jacket, open front, and the the first one would be like a pullover, um, tank top or vest. I don't know if it's heavyweight or not, but it's no uh, very lightweight. Yeah, so so they would be, so I would both list them under the shirt or the women's tops category, and then you can okay. go under the item specifics and choose like tank top, and then this one okay. you could choose tunic, and you could put under features where it's open yeah it's uh, open That's does it say it's where it's made i don't know if no it's did, pretty yeah. basic paper tag but it does it is vintage especially if it has a paper oh, yeah. tag yeah 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 it's super vintage i mean oh yeah it's like 70s, 70s. Yeah. yeah that's cool like and brand new like never um, touched nice yeah. So I'm nice. gonna research that a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you could do the Google, good old Google lens, and you never know what you'd pop up with that. Right. At least that, maybe yeah. you can find someone else selling it and base off that. But oh, I and know. I have one other question, and uh -huh. and then yeah, um, I got this for a dollar Columbia jacket. I wanted to know it had some weird front pockets right in here that I didn't notice until the very end. Oh um, yeah, but. I was gonna see if you could tell me what those were called. Are they on the the, the inside of the jacket? Or... No, they're on the outside. That so... looks like a suede jacket. Yeah, suede it's leather. Suede. It's really it's pretty nice. I um, just put a oh nice yeah yeah, yeah. In, inside zipper pockets. But they're not inside. Where did it right here? Oh, so they're, okay. on, they're on the outside. That's cool. Yeah. Um. Right where the see on the bottom left, mm -hmm. the zipper goes mm -hmm. up. There's mm -hmm. on either side on the front of the jacket. Yeah, I would put zipper pocket hidden zipper pockets. Hidden zipper pockets. Mm -hmm. The only downside is it had this little tiny hole, mm -hmm. um, in the very back. It's fine. Gonna, it's mm -hmm. not a, that big a deal or noticeable. So you'd have to list it as pre-owned though. Okay, not new with tags because it's got yeah. that mess yeah. on it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good to know too. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, so I got menu. enough pictures and stuff. I hope to do twenty listens or so tomorrow. So yeah, no, that's a good one. All right, I'll sit back and see what else everybody else has. <laughs>
Huh. Right on. Can I show you these? Did you get a chance to look at that Disney pillowcase? Mm -hmm. Did you end up getting that one? Oh, I got it. Nice. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, made in USA. Um, there's about 2,000 of them listed on eBay, and there was like 500 that sold. So not there's, there's some pictures seller. of it. I tried to look for that one in particular. I couldn't find that one. So I just How went much would you it. list it for? I'd probably do at least 20 bucks, 22 bucks, $21. There were some going as high as 150, 79, 89. Um, but I couldn't find the one with like the fire truck. So, um, you know, you're probably going to want to do like, 24 to 29 around there okay it's not like super in demand so well and that's it, true and i only it, have one of them so yeah i couldn't pass it up the bin so made in usa yeah and it was probably what a dollar so less would you say I mean, anything, pretty much Disney, if the price is right, get it? Or do you sell any Disney? I do. Um, it's just a really saturated. <laughs> all of their items are super Such. saturated, even vintage. Yeah. So, um, I heard that things uh, like are from the park store. Uh, anything that says Disney Parks mm -hmm. or whatever is mm -hmm. uh, kind of a better. Better, yes. Better item. Yeah. Um, I would say, you know, don't spend too much for it, but. As far as like clothing, even Disney sleepwear um, is good. Disney pullover hoodies, good. Just, you know, you don't want to be shelling out 30 bucks to make $5, you know. The sweatshirt confused me. Oh, Batman? It's obviously Batman. It's 11 Paris. I mean, I didn't know. I couldn't find anything that. They didn't Looked pop like up it. under the brand where your item specific. I don't item. think so. Let's say 11 Paris Batman. That was the only one that popped up right there. Interesting. What about solds? Um... I don't know. Didn't think about that. There's that one. That's a t-shirt. That's the only one, too. You could probably get a good 24 or 30 bucks for it. I didn't see the size, but... It's oh, an XXL. Yeah, yeah. Do I need to describe it a little better? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just put 11... So 11 Paris... Yeah, I put parts. Whoops. 11 Paris Batman sweatshirt. Um, men's and then put 2XL and it, it might I'm pretty sure it would be a fleet and it's got Japanese and other writing on the back too uh -huh. I'd probably even list so like 30 what should you do with that plus. if anything um so 2xl is it a do you remember, it looked like it was a fleece pullover oh that's a good question yep nice well maybe look at it the looks fabric like it, yeah it looks like it's a cotton yeah it doesn't look fleece no it's cotton so just put cotton pullover crew neck and then if you could fit it, graphic print would be a good one. Or delete um, cotton. Okay. Nice. Let's see where it says graphic down here somewhere. The color is silver or white? It's white. Do, do, do. Sorry, didn't see that. 
There's no cotton there. Okay. And then uh, and be a pullover, and you could put knit. Okay. Pull over. Oh, if it doesn't have it, it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Uh, what I would, it's up to you. You could put solid and then just make sure you hit gra graphic print. Where's graphic print at? W way down, a little more, little more down. Yep, there, up. There. Oh, I was, I was looking for a pull down menu. Sorry. Oh, that's good. Uh, Crew neck. Yep. Machine washable. Um, character actually is a really good one for cartoons. Uh, hit Batman if they got it, which they should. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Right on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Very good. And Jared, your sales, you're almost doubling up from the previous month. That's the plan. It's good. I had some dingbat. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. That's mean. But some person offered me like 40 bucks for one of the motorcycle jackets. Yeah. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. It was that one I sold before for 80 and the guy sent back because it was too tight. Oh, okay. And yeah. I'm like, I sent him back an offer of like 72. Mm -hmm. So. That's good. I don't. Somehow I don't think he really expected me to, to take 40 bucks. These are those Madewell jeans. I wanted to ask you about Very these. Very nice. They're, um, I put cropped because they look cropped. Um, um, because they're only 27 inches long. And they're men's? They're women's. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what's the size on there? Well, the tag says 30, but hold on. Let me show you. Look at this. That's not 30. Yeah, they were way, they're way stretched out. They're like at least 32. So what I need to know what to do there on my description. Do you remember the, do, these might be men's. Do you remember if the pockets were deep or shallow? Because if they're called the high rise slim boy, and the size is 30, that's looking more like a men's cut. It could be a men's cut. Mm -hmm. Which make us, makes them more valuable. Uh, slightly. Um, but yeah, the, the real determining factor is the, uh, the pockets. The pockets are deep, yeah. Well, I can check them out tomorrow and tell but, you. Yeah, but usually women's made well would be like size 12, <laughs> size 14, size 6. Um, these look, they just look like they're cut for men. Yeah, that's good advice about uh, the pockets. If they're sh short pockets, uh, not very deep, then they're women's. If they're deep and your hands can fit in them, then they're yeah. men's. That, that was a really good uh, mm -hmm. point that you made the other day. It's helped yeah. me a lot already. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I mean, especially nowadays with men's skinny jeans and stuff, you're like, is this women's? And then you stick your hand in there, you know, it's you will tell, you know, women's jeans, their pockets are like maybe a couple inches deep. So uh, very rare that it's. See, there's a tag right there. So the high rise slim boy jean. I give a sh I, let me check right now. There's the pockets. Yeah, they do look like men's pockets. 
Because women don't have that little pocket there, do they? Um, sometimes they do, yeah. Um, so I yeah, just double check tomorrow. I would. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Yeah, just double check. Um, I know where they're at. Also, too, they could just be boyfriend jeans. Well, that's what I was oh, thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, women's boyfriend. But even boyfriend jeans would have short pockets still, though, right? Yes. So just double check the pockets. You could just okay. save this as a draft and just. Sure. But um, they don't. I mean, they sell pretty decent. Um, I was shocked to find them. Eight, I guess I need to measure the leg opening, too. I didn't think about that. 856 listed and 200 sold. 25 bucks, 30 bucks. So, okay, yeah, just double check. But they could also, if the pockets are shallow, then yeah, it's they're just boyfriend jeans. Okay, all right, but yeah, made was a solid one. It's become more, it's like kind of like free people and Lululemon, and they it just it's they've the reseller community has caught on and everyone's picking that up. So as far as eBay, it's just becoming more flooded. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, but. Yeah. But very good. Anthony, what you working on? How's your week been? You left. Oh, he did. You left. Oh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I haven't checked. Maybe he I thought saw. he wasn't going to get to say anything, so he left. Oh, but I'm I have sorry. another question about messages. Um, I got a weird message. Do you ever respond to weird, uh, interesting, not <laughs> really on topic um, messages? Yeah, what is it in regards to? Like, what are they asking? Uh, a purple pair of shoes, and they just use words like, I gave him an offer and thanks for your appealing, attractive, pleasing, pretty, fine, fair, nice, good looking, delight, good, blah, 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 all the way down and doesn't really say anything. What? Uh, it doesn't, huh? It just has all these words about how great the shoes are. And then it says text and it has a what looks like a phone number and then says truly yours. For um, somebody. I respond to all messages. Uh -huh. uh, because eBay is tracking that. Um, my generic response is just um, I have it saved when they when they are thanking you for something. Um, I have a response where it just says, thank you for your business. I appreciate it. Um, you help support a small family business. And I said, feel free to save our store for <clears throat> your um, items that we list every day. And then yeah, if it's guys. something just though not appropriate, you'd block them at that point. Or oh yeah, if they said something weird ones like, uh, can you put these jeans on and show me what they look yeah. like? Or yeah, like that. I just uh, I respond and then I block them. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that. <laughs> and then I block them right away. Yeah, because okay. eBay's eBay's tracking your response time, and when you're not responding to messages. Then there's it's anecdotal evidence, but it's still at the same time, you know. And then is it response. just the is it just the first response? Like so, say they kind of leave it open. In, do you have to have the last word? So like I, I do, yeah, I do. do. I do. I'll even <laughs> I, send I an emoji. You. Yeah, when they when I say thank you, they go thank you, and I go you're welcome, and they go thank you, <laughs> and I'll just keep doing emojis until okay, I'm the last one. Right. Yeah, smiley and face. All <laughs> that little bitty stuff matters. I mean, yeah. you're successful, so I'm gonna model myself after you. My I, I do, I do. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. I have a couple that are like that. Like, yeah. yeah so, all right. At the very yeah. least, like emoji or thumbs up emoji. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I just. I've always done that, and um, okay. just I don't, you know, I with the weird messages, definitely like just say, you know, sometimes you just put a smiley face, and then you can block them. So that works too. Okay. And if they keep if you block them, and they're still able to get messages through, then you can contact eBay, and they can uh, 
remove them manually. All right, I'm all done then. I just wanted to. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so Jared, you listed your stuff today too. Yep. Cool. I picked up a lot of stuff at the Goodwill bins today. Yeah, ninety-one bucks. You probably got at least what 40 50 items i don't know i gotta count them tomorrow yeah it's good i just kind of threw them in a couple bags and and put them in the storage unit after i after i got them yeah i mean i went through them a little bit but um i was gonna ask you for a favor and you don't have to do it today or now but um, is it possible to share your um, like your your sales for December and then compare it to January and post that in the Discord? You know, I messed up when I sent you that eleven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That was for the last thirty one days. That yeah. wasn't for just January. Okay. I've got nine hundred and thirty one dollars for just January. Still, so I should still get over a thousand. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I should still get close to twelve hundred. I think. Mm -hmm. Do you um? Do you know how to do screenshot on your computer? No. Oh, okay. Well, we could just do it some other time. But uh, I wanted to, if with your permission, to use your uh, like as a, a testimonial or an example. Yeah, that's fine. Of your growth, um, because yeah, you know, when we were talking the other day, you did start with about eighty items, and now you're up to almost three hundred. Um, and, and you've been applying the daily listing and all that, so it's just like the proof is like there. You know, you just there, there were you know, there so. were two days where I cheated and yeah did some um ones that were already there just relisted them. Mm. I'm at like three hundred and nine items now. Yeah, that's good. So and you sold a couple today. Sold one. Mm -hmm. Sales last couple days have been kind of slow but i had a good i had a decent weekend i mean i sold like nine items over the weekend that's good so i can't i can't grape yeah that's good um how do you here's a question mm -hmm. how do you i want to go into my store if i want to send a coupon to just or a message to just the nine followers that do I have and yeah. how do I get more followers? That's yeah. another good question. Let's do it. Yeah. So a good way to get more followers is to um, anytime you get a message from someone that is thanking you or saying, you know, something nice or just asking about a um, uh, item in your store, you can have like a, a default <laughs> message that's written out saying, you know, at the end of after answering the question, you could say, you know, please follow my store as I list five new items a day, every day, um, you know, to, to receive future updates. And sometimes that can convert, you know, people that are looking at your store into followers. So you can continue to, once they're a follower, then you can set up a, a weekly newsletter to send them to their email so they get the updates of the new items that are being listed in your store. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a new feature. Like probably six months ago, they started that a year ago. And um, that's a good way to do it. And um, that would be probably the best way to get followers of your store, of real potential customers. Most of the followers of my store are just people that are like watching the YouTube videos and just following my store. <laughs> um right right you know, maybe, maybe half are actual people that have bought from me um but yeah uh, uh the other thing you're talking about is something that i do about every three days it's a called the bulk coupons uh through the buyer groups so you're able to send a bulk coupon to followers of your store so how do you do that so you would go um under promotions Marketing promotions. Okay. And then um, under create promotion. No. Uh, do you want to share your screen side now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Be, uh, on the left hand side. 
Yeah. So on the left hand side, it sees but buyer groups. Oh. Yeah. That's I would save this page. They or, have 102 total buyers. Yeah. yeah, you could send. What I do is I make a special coupon for them for per, previous buyers. Really? For a 40% coupon or whatever. Um, and then put at the bottom of it, follow our store. Yeah. Can you do that on that coupon? Yeah, yeah you could. A custom message, yeah. Um, so with this, so you want to send it to your Follow, you could send it to both. You could send it to your followers and then you can create another one to send to previous buyers. Um, so actually you what you would need to do first. Oh, I see. It says your previous customers get started and then your followers get started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What we could do, what you have to do first is you have to create a coupon that's private um, first. Okay, how do you do that? So under Mark, go back to promotions on the left. Yeah, there you go. Yep. And then create a coupon, create a promotion coupon. Yep. And then come up with just a name that uh, that you don't normally use. Mm -hmm. Can't have any spaces, right? Yeah. <laughs> You just put Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit blessed you. <laughs> holy, holy, holy savings. There you go. Perfect. Um, and then it would be private coupon. So so no one else can see it unless you send it. <gasps> okay. And what's the what's the discount? What do you run as a coupon in your store currently? Normally 20%. Okay, so maybe do a 25%. Now would that be on top of? No, they can't they can't stack coupons. It's just like showing the extra thankfulness, you know, here's 25%. Um, and then you scroll down all the way and put a description and a photo. Hmm. But I'm going out of business sale. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Sometimes it's a grand opening <laughs> sale. There you go. Black Friday. <laughs> there you go i always use this shirt because yeah, that works. you know that works and um and then scroll down and what you're going to want to do is you're going to select the end date as far as possible you could almost do it a year out because you don't oh, want right. it to expire um you want them to be able to use this anytime when they until so december 31st yeah, yeah there you go yeah at 5.58 p.m. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's good. Um, and it's, um, it should start. And then do launch? Yeah, and then you launch it. Yep. Okay. And then. And then you, you select the buyer um, group. Well, we got to create the buyer group. So go back to eBay, promotions. Um, How do I get back there? Just click the eBay button up top, the logo. Or you could hit close, close at the bottom right. Oh, there we go, because it's not letting me go up. Okay. Yeah. And now we go back to buyer groups. Uh, buyer groups. There we go. And then we can create, pick pick which one. We can start Let's one. do the total buyers. Yeah. So you get started. Get started. And then, um, so at the top it says, so you're selecting people. You could create individual groups for all of these sections, and that's what I do. I select uh, I select less than thirty one days ago for my first group, and then okay. I select, you know I go down the so so you keep going down. And what I do is for group name, I just put group one. Okay. One. One. And okay. then you scroll down. Mm hmm. And then you just say save. Save. By. Yep. And then, and then now send now that coupon you just created. Now you can send that out, Sweet. sending it out to thirty people. So now you hit done, and now you just repeat what we just did. And awesome, select. yeah. So then go get started. Yeah, get yep, started. Get started, yeah. and then now more than thirty-one days ago. Yep, yep. And now that's group two. 
and that's going to send it to 40 to 52 people. So you should get some good action from this. And I do this every couple days. It, it lets you do it. Yeah, in your message. Please too, follow yeah. our store for more updates. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to put that in the first one. Yeah, that's fine. There. I think I'm going to copy and paste yes, that last yes. line. So I have to retype it every time. This is awesome. I yeah, like it, this. Yeah, it is. It's good. I get a couple sales a uh, a, you know, every few days from that because I have a special coupon for it. Now, does it send it out to new people too? Um, new people could buy? Yeah, so so the next time you send it out, it's going to send out the last 30. So go up a little bit. Yeah. And then select date range. And now you're going to choose more than three months ago. Right. And now it's group three. And then save by our group. And there you go. There you go. So I'm back to my other question, though. As as more people buy from me. Mm -hmm. And then go up. Yeah. Then do I have to send the coupon out to the 31-day the it... group? every month or something yeah every every three days i do it because because it allows you to do it about every three days but it just that first group yeah so the less than 31 days ago will always be the ones from less than 31 days ago like okay like a couple of days will go by and whoever bought from you in those last few days that will be included in that group okay so this is group four yep group four yep and then I would just come to this page, the buyer groups page, every couple of days, and just send them out. <clears throat> okay. What I do, and um, cool. I did not know about this. Yeah, it's pretty new. I mean, it's probably about a year old. So I was doing that with you guys the whole time. So I was. I figured here. you were. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was following I mean, right along. It'd kind Good. of be dumb not to. Yeah, it? yeah. So I have a question too. Mm -hmm. So you do it every two or three days. Is yours yeah. at? 25% or 35%? What is yours at? 40. 40, okay. I did mine for 35, but I don't know if I could afford to do much more than that. But mm -hmm. And you just do it every couple of days. Um, yeah, it doesn't... Giving them an email every couple of days. And, yeah, it doesn't um, allow yeah. you to, like, spam them. Um, right. So you would just be, um, you know, about every three days. Y you, you'll see... Um, so yeah, so hit send coupon. You'll see it. Um, you'll be able to click on it after a few days when you can. When so scroll down a little bit, Jared. Yeah, and that will be all your groups. See how it says edit, mm -hmm. edit, edit. Those edit buttons will turn into send coupon buttons every couple. Really? Of days. Yeah, yeah. I hope I, I hope that that helps. Yeah. That edit button on the right hand side. We'll yeah. Say so send. yeah, it'll oh, say send coupon, and then that that'll refresh. It's really what cool. What is this but, more than 30 group down here? I don't know what, what that, that? you should send it though. I don't know what that's for. Something maybe you created in the beginning or something. Yeah. Send it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. So yeah, it's very helpful. I do it every few days. Um, the other thing we could set up too, you know, later is the um, newsletter and the newsletters yeah. similar, but that's something where it's more marketed towards your store it shows your newest you have to item. write your own newsletter it has a generic it, thing let's say you know, hopefully it writes itself i was gonna yeah. say because i'm not a good writer it has its own <laughs> template you put in there so all right well that i think that was a very productive night i appreciate it oh that for was, sure that, that was really it again awesome tomorrow. Yeah. that's awesome yeah I'm, I'm happy you guys are kicking butt you know it's really cool to see and um it's awesome. I, and I know you guys are serious because you're on here every day and you want to. Oh, and I know I'm a pain, bro, but thanks no, for the help. You're not. You're not. No, I, sure. I, the, the 15 years of waiting tables where, you know, where people are like, um, you know, I want water, no ice. And you put <laughs> in it. And oh, you oh you'd, love, ice hey, and <laughs> hey, you'd love my wife. 
But, I want a <laughs> glass of water, no ice, half boiling hot and half yeah. lukewarm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah. I, yeah. I don't. Oh my God, I shake I'm, my head every time I take her to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a oh. video about that. But um, no, and I'm then, And then she's guys. like, how yeah. much of a tip should we leave? We should leave extra just because of your water. <laughs> this special request. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, if you can think of any other questions between now and tomorrow, um, you know, post them on, on the Discord and we can go over them. But yeah, hopefully you guys have some good sales. Are you going to be on tomorrow night or are you taking the night off? No, nope, I'll be here tomorrow. Um, so are I'm you actually... cheering for the Chiefs on Sunday? Uh, oh, 40, 49ers. Oh, but no, not, not the 49ers, 49ers are playing the Bengals. Are you on the Brock? Bark pretty pretty wagon. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, not oh, like calling him Joe Montana, but not yet, better anyway. than what we've ever had in the last few years. <laughs> Who's yeah. that? All uh, right. That... Well, hopefully they'll win for you. <laughs> yeah. Who's your quarterback? As a young kid, twenty-one year old. His name's Brock Purdy. From which team? Mr. Iowa. Mr. No, but I mean, which team? Does oh, Forty Niners. I knew he was from Iowa. Yeah, <laughs> all the good ones come from Iowa. Come on, buy up his jersey now. It might be worth a good bit after the Super Bowl. After they win it, Dang, can we find the... one? Can you find yeah. one? Probably not. Probably everyone's had that probably idea already. Yeah, no joke. Um, but right. uh, yeah, thank you guys. Right. Good night, and I'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Have a good one, Zach, and take care, Jared. Thanks, Bo. Right. You're welcome. Bye bye.